my only comment should really be whatever this is will be handled in court just know that according to the law and according to the police and according to all sanctioning governing authorities academics is a innocent man who has not ever been charged with anything of the sort that has to do with any deviancy or anything like that has never been charged will never be charged that now Recently, DJ Academics is going through a situation and this actually isn't something brand new. Uh, DJ Academics is currently has a complaint against him and it looks like he's going to be sued for defamation, assault and a few other things we're going to go through here in a second. All right. But we want to hear it from Academics, see what he's saying. He just live streamed about this yesterday and gave his thoughts on the whole situation and some of the things that are happening here should really be but i'm gonna go a little bit further even though i shouldn't but i'm gonna do it my only comment should really be whatever this is will be handled in court just know that according to the law and according to the police and according to all sanctioning governing authorities academics is a innocent man who has not ever been charged with anything of the sort that has to do with any deviancy or anything like that has never been charged will never be charged That's now I'm glad he said that up front because this is a very, very important fact. This is not a criminal case. So say this goes to trial and everything is proven to be true. Academics is not he's not going to jail. He's not going to have a felony on his record. This is a civil suit and there's between a, a criminal suit or a criminal case and a civil case. It's two totally different worlds. If you want to look up what the difference is it's pretty straightforward but just know that we're going to get into this in a second but there was a investigation done and it's it seems like when it comes to the criminal side of things that academics has not been convicted of any crimes all right so y'all keep that in mind as we go throughout this one and let me actually move this over here because i want to be able to see y'all's comments all right, here we go. Let's keep it going. But this is a civil situation brewing. This is a shakedown. This is a money tree situation. With me addressing this, and, and I've seen a bunch of people, you know, the timing is very important, chat. The timing for this is all important. He's talking about this, Ebony that's Prince. I'm not going to go against what my lawyer said because there's so much information. I, like, I, I've given way more information before when I just sat and just talked about shit. Once now we're officially engaged, now I have to let the lawyers do the talking. I've done enough talking. So please don't take yo actors. I'm not skirting around nothing. I talked already, okay? And to keep it real, they're trying to use me talking already against me to try to get some, you know what the type of time it is. So I can't say much on that angle. Let's just analyze facts. And that's what we're gonna be looking His at. His academics under a that's what we're going to be looking at today, too. I want to bring up a couple of these comments and address it. Smoking the One says he incriminated himself. We're going to get to that in a second. He should have never spoke about the open case on stream. He's cooked. He says, liter literally said, if I go down, y'all going with me. They finna dig up anything just to get information from him. It'll have people thinking he's an informant and that's bad for his business. No, he's already spoken on this, Smokey, and we're going to we're going to go through it here in a second. Uh, and what he said by if I and what he meant by if I go down, y'all are going with me. He was saying that all the information that he has, everything he knows, he said on the live stream, which means everything that's out there. That's all I got. So that's <laughs> that's what he meant by this. Anyway, we'll keep going. A criminal investigation. Absolutely not. Is it's academics not a at criminal risk case of being arrested for a first degree felony? or any felony misdemeanor otherwise absolutely not is this something where an individual felt you know what let me not say that because i don't want to go into i don't want i don't want to say anything that could help a case for anybody else so i only got to keep it to me only got to keep it to me i can only speak to me right because now people are playing the same game um What's important to know is that if you are the a same game. friend of mine, you're an ally of mine, you're a fan of mine, I give you my word, I give you my promise, I've been transparent to y'all before about this whole situation. This is not something that I've, uh, I've, that I was involved in with some criminal shit. However, this is something that unfortunately, and, and this is the point I have to tell my audience, 
we have bubbled up to the point that I'm just not the YouTube streamer no more. I'm just And the interesting thing about this is the only reason we're going to get into it in a second. The only reason this information even came out and was public in the first place is because academics had an ex-girlfriend who he was at odds with. They had a really weird, uh, <laughs> really strange relationship. Y'all can go back and look at the research on that. And she had threatened to expose some things about him that he necessarily wouldn't want out there. And she actually did expose a few things, but some of the people she exposed it to, they ended up just not leaking the the information about him but one of the things he assumed she was going to expose about him was this entire situation he has with the individual who is filing this complaint and so he goes on to this podcast he tells the whole story gives the backstory all of that information and that's why he decided to air this out and then what ended up leading from that is the person he was talking about heard academics tell that story and she said, no, that's not what happened. I know you're lying. And then it seems like it kind of ignited and sparked the flame that brought this up again, <laughs> which is which is wild. Not the old oh, the guy who make YouTube videos. They have now regarded me as like like these number one media hip hop guy. And such with the case, it comes with a lot of perks. I will not lie. <laughs> I mean, in the last couple weeks with the Kendrick and Drake shit going on, trust me, <laughs> Big Act likes to eat, but Act been eating, okay? But with with that, you know, even, okay, this is the number one guy. You know, you see me on TMZ Live, Piers Morgan wanted to holla at me. Um, we just All right, we're going to skip um, forward a little bit. Just happening. Other people is other. Details of the case, I, I've spoken about it once. I, wouldn't, I, I can't speak about it again. I just can't. I just can't like my, my lawyers is gonna be like my nigga why the fuck are you paying us mad money to just like fuck this shit up for us so i can't speak all right so it. he basically basically went in and gave a little bit of the background story there i want to read this article from usa today they kind of break down everything that's going on in the situation a little bit of the information i just gave you guys uh i just gave you guys as well it says dj academics off the record podcast hosts accused of rape and defamation and a couple other and assault as well dj academics a media personality and host of the off the record podcast has been sued for allegedly assaulting a woman we'll say in a civil lawsuit this is an important civil lawsuit filed in new jersey superior court monday which was obtained by usa today we're gonna call her zaya <coughs> excuse me guys um so in civil lawsuit filed in New Jersey Superior Court Monday, which was obtained by USA Today Tuesday, Zaya alleged academics whose real name is Livingston Allen brutally assaulted her in July of 2022. Now, this was almost two years ago, and there's a reason this is just coming up now, which we'll get into here in a second. She also alleged two unnamed accomplices drugged and assaulted her at Allen's house earlier that day. And we'll get into the facts here in a second. Uh, Zaya described as a writer who lives in Pennsylvania. <laughs> this is this is funny. Uh, uh, thank you, Mr. Tesla. This is funny that they they paint her as a writer. That is not the case if you if you look at the actual facts. Anyway, sued Allen and two John Doe's for assault, negligent infliction of emotional distress and defamation and requested a jury trial Oof. tyrone blackburn now tyrone blackburn we talked about him yesterday when we were talking when we were bringing back up the diddy case this is actually little rod's lawyer and tyrone blackburn has been involved in a lot of these uh, celebrity shakedowns i guess you could say and this again is another situation Tyrone Blackburn's involved in to where he's kind of going at another high profile person in the music industry, which is interesting. Uh, shout out to Tyrone Blackburn. He's out there getting it. It says uh, Tyrone Blackburn is Zaya's lawyer said in a statement shared with USA Today, Tuesday. Litigation is always the last resort. 
after several unsuccessful attempts to resolve this case privately, meaning they wanted to settle, meaning she wanted some money. <laughs> Naya was left with no choice but to file. Mr. Allen, Mr. Allen's hubris, they're talking about DJ Academics, will be his downfall. All right. DJ Academics response to the lawsuit. DJ Academics, who also co-hosts complex series Everyday Struggle and has accumulated several million followers across social media sites, including YouTube, X, and Twitch, has been garnering garnering attention recently for his <clears throat> for his coverage of the rap beef between Kendrick Lamar and Drake. In a Rumble livestream Tuesday, that was the one uh, I mentioned or we played earlier. Allen appears to address the lawsuit saying, I'm going to go against my very high priced attorney's advice today, but I'm still not going to say much. He didn't really say anything he hasn't already said before. He added, my only comment should really be whether this is handled in court. Just know, according to the law and according to the police and according to all sanctions, sanctioning governing authorities, academics is an innocent man who has not ever been charged with anything of the sort that has to do with with any deviancy or anything like that has ever been charged will never be charged that's a fact and he is correct from a law standpoint the police we're going to get into what all that happened but the police did an investigation to this they raided dj academics house they saw the videotape they got statements from everyone involved they even did an assault kit and they found they weren't able to charge anyone not academics not one of his two friends that were at the house that were supposedly mainly involved in the situation so there's something to be said for that even after all of this evidence that they had the police decided not to charge him and i think this is something that has to be factored in as well uh he called the lawsuit a shakedown adding this is a money tree situation. I mean, if they tried to settle, then yeah, uh, it's obviously about money because she's not trying to get, you know, rides to work every day. She wants to get paid for everything she allegedly went through. In her lawsuit, uh, Zaya said she started casually dating Alan after meeting through social media in 2021. Then July, tw the July 2022 act incident excuse me took place about a year after they last saw each other she said after ryan arriving at academics new jersey home on july 16 2022 she alleged that okay these two guys fixed her drinks she was drugs they gave her alcohol they were in the hot tub and then there was a sexual assault there and she said it happened while she was unconscious she also alleged that dj academics assaulted her afterwards According to the lawsuit, not uh, is it Zaya went to the police to report the assault and had a assault forensic exam performed. The complaint also states that she believes the police used evidence provided by her to obtain a warrant from a judge and to get hold of the footage and evidence of the assault, which they ended up doing. We'll go over here in a second. Um, <laughs> DJ Academics and his two accomplices assault severely injured miss we're going to call her Zaya because i don't know how to pronounce her other name causing significant physical psychological pain and suffering loss of dignity and invasion of her pri privacy the lawsuit reads dj academics public statements added to the harm miss Zaya was already silently suffering with now an interest <laughs> A thing that's interesting is no one knew who DJ Academics was talking about until Zaya came out and made a video. So this part is is weird to me that they can that they can put this in there, but I don't know the law that well. So I no one knew who he was talking about until she came out and said, Oh yeah, he's talking about me. Well, I guess I don't know, it's weird. So anyway, she remained silent until Alan took to his social media accounts in December and accused Zaya of voluntarily having 
to doing the deed with friends at home at his home while maintaining that he never participated at all this is a problem we're going to get into this this section here in a second the fact that dj academics said that he never participated at all yeah that's that's an issue anyway we'll get into it in his rumble live stream alan seemingly confirmed the police investigation had been conducted and claimed he was cleared of wrongdoing which is true i told the truth hey the police came they look we gave them everything pretty much everything is documented caught on videotape they got to see it with their own two eyes which is important guys especially to y'all who are out here man make sure you have everything documented especially when you're meeting when you're meeting with someone first of all i don't know why guys and guys and girls why do y'all why do y'all keep getting into these situations on both sides this is just bad this is just bad i mean i get we're human and in most cases someone isn't going to go through something like this or have a situation like this but man can y'all just can y'all just be smart and not put yourself in these situations like it's crazy and it's a shame that this that this happens either way but anyway i know it won't be me i told the truth hey police okay assault with their own two eyes two eyes not only did they say act you good and that's not just word of mouth you're officially cleared we cannot bring any criminal charges you are not criminally liable also anybody else in the situation was also cleared all right so there you have it y'all dj academics he's not going to jail for this uh for this situation there aren't going to be any criminal charges pressed because they did their investigation and they found that the evidence showed what they're alleging in the complaint is not true right but that doesn't mean that you can't file a civil suit which is why they're doing what they're doing all right